hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to teach you guys how or show you guys how i put in my extensions and how i style them so um, i'm about to go take pictures i just did my makeup that is in my last video if you're curious on how i got this um, makeup look yeah so let's just get right into this video i don't know how long my battery is gonna last because i just filmed another video um but i am going to just get started into this video really quickly so make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's get started all right so um i have luxie hair extensions right now i'm just brushing through my hair and making sure that it has no tangles but um anyways i have luxie hair extensions they are 20 inches i believe and they are the balayage the chestnut brown balayage color i got them for christmas i asked for them for christmas and the reason i asked for a chestnut brown balayage is because i have a little bit of blonde in my ends because i used to have balayage and it just grew out but i wanted something that would match my roots as well as the blonde streaks in my hair so i got this one it looks a little bit off color but it is the chestnut brown balayage these are the 20 inch ones these are from luxie hair so these are real hair and this video is not sponsored by the way i just really wanted these and i got them for christmas i'm so excited and i'm just going to show you guys how i put them in if you're following along all you need are the your extensions obviously some texturizing spray some dry shampoo and then a curling wand this is just a tapered curling wand from con air it's from walmart and i'm not sure exactly the inches maybe like half an inch I don't know i'll list it down below i'll link everything i use down below so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put in some texturizing spray in my roots this is the living proof dry volume blast spray get this from walmart or target and i'm just going to go ahead and spray that in my roots so that i have enough volume my hair is clean, so this is like, I washed it this morning, so I want it to have enough grip for the extensions to stay in my hair. And I'm just going to show you guys how quick and easy this is. So, the extensions come with a lot of hair, and as you can see, I've already like styled them. This is from last time I styled them. It just keeps the shape, and um, you should only wash them like once every like 10 wears or so just so that they last a really long time but what i'm going to do is go ahead and brush through them myself so it comes with one big weft this is the four clip weft it comes with i think i want to say three or four of the three weft um or three clip wefts it comes with i think four of the one clip wefts so those are for added volume and then um maybe two two clip wefts i believe i don't use all of them at once that's the thing i could put all of these in my hair at once but it my hair is fine and thin so i feel like it would look kind of crazy so i'm not gonna do that all right so to begin i'm just going to section my hair so i'm going to part my hair right above my ear and twist my hair up It doesn't have to be even i mean you want it to be as even as possible but it doesn't have to be i'm going to start with the three clip weft and i'm going to pin that in the back so i'm going to move these a, like about an inch and a half or no maybe an inch down because i'm going to put immediately put another clip right above it and i'm going to put the four clip weft if you want more um, hold on these, I'm just using these for pictures right now, but um, and then I'm gonna take them out. But if you want them in all day, I would recommend teasing your hair, teasing your roots a little bit, and then going in and adding the hair. The reason I'm adding, adding the three first and then the, uh, the four is so that I have gradual volume at the very end of my hair, and so it looks a little bit more layered and natural. And these are super easy. This is also from the Seamless collection, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. So it looks like 
it lays more flat against your head and it just looks a lot more natural and as you can see already i have even more like length and volume and it's amazing so all right and then i'm going to section it again maybe an inch up from where it was brush it just so it's all smoothed out so i'm gonna go in with a four clip weft because i'm basically wrapping it around the whole crown of my head so i'm going to take the four clip weft and put it here So that's it for the ones in the back of my head. Now I'm going to start putting them towards the front and sides of my hair so that I have more volume. Okay, so you can already see how like natural it looks. It doesn't even look like it's not my hair. So what I'm going to do is part my hair kind of in a C motion just with my pinky so that I am parting it kind of like at an angle right here at the top of my head. I'm not sure if you can see that. Then I'm going to take, I don't need this three clip left. I, I mean, I could add it in there if I really had more room, but I just have a smaller head with finer hair. So if I put this towards the back, then you would definitely be seeing my um, extensions poke through when you don't really want to see that. The point is to not see it. So I'm going to take a two clip left and I am going to go ahead and clip this in at an angle coming down on my hair and not right at the root but a little bit down from the root. That way it can be covered by my hair that I flip over. See? Okay. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. See how easy this is? Okay, so again, clipping it in a little bit down from the root at an angle so that when you flip your hair back over, there's no bump or anything and your hair is covering the weft. Okay, so you could stop here or you can add in a little extra one weft were one clip wefts and this would add a little bit more volume so i think i want a little bit more volume right here so i'm going to take a one clip left and i'm going to make sure that it has the blonde coming on the right side so this one would go on this side this one would go here because the blonde is coming towards the front where the blonde is naturally my hair so i am going to just do the same thing i just did but in a smaller section right towards the front and go ahead and put the weft in a little bit down from the root so that when I flip my hair back over you won't be able to see the weft. So I'm going to do that on the other side as well really quick. Point of this is just to make it look as natural as possible and make sure that you can't see any bumps or any webs. So now that the extensions are all in, I'm going to go ahead and style it. I'm gonna brush everything out just carefully so you don't you're not snagging anything. And just making it smooth. You're going to section the hair and I want loose waves. It's already pretty wavy from last time I did it, but um I'm going to kind of angle it down a little bit, but I want loose waves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip these front pieces and save those for last. And I'm going to take my um, curler. Actually, I'm going to do these first. I'm going to take my curler and I'm just going to do quick motions, like just run it through just like a touch of 
the bend that we want our hair. So I'm just going to wrap away from my head quickly and then let it out because I want these to be loose like beachy waves. So because it is curled a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and like grab little sections. I'm not going to part my hair or put it up in sections, like up in sections. I'm going to just grab it in sections and start wrapping it in the wand and just messily holding it on for like maybe two seconds and then letting it out and just letting it fall. And I'm going to do it away from my face alternate it away from my face and towards my face. And I'm also leaving the ends out so that it's a little bit straight on the end. And just letting these waves kind of do their thing like messy beachy waves. And in any spots that I need to, I'm just gonna go in and give it a light wand. Make sure that you're grabbing both your hair and the extensions and make sure that you're blending them together. That way they don't look weird and like it's your hair mixed with different hair. You wanna make it look like it's all one hair. But these extensions blend so easily. Easy to work with. And you can apply heat to these extensions. And yeah. So you can really style them however you want to. Just you can't use a really high heat or else they will burn a little bit, but that's with any hair, honestly. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side as well, really quick. Yeah. everything like wanted like I want it I just want it loose curls I'm just gonna take my brush and go ahead and brush through and smooth everything out and yep just brush it through you don't want it to be too styled and then I'm just going to um, run my fingers through it and yeah, um, then if you need dry shampoo or just put it in your roots or need some volume, just put some extra uh, texture spray in your roots. So I'm gonna do that really quick. At the front. Okay, so I just had to switch to my iPhone. So I'm sorry about the quality, um, but my camera died. So basically I just wanted to come in and film an outro. I just want to show you guys how quick and easy it is to get long, thick hair with just extensions and a curling wand and a brush. It's really that easy. I have fine, thin hair and it's still like, it just looks so much bigger and thicker and I'm just really happy with the results and yeah, I will link all of the products that I use below including these extensions. and. I hope that this helps someone. Make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell below so that you see every time I upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.